Hello Golden Jobbers, welcome once again to my channel. This is Sir Job and welcome to Sir Job TV. Para sa lahat po ng mga new explorers, check on newly discovered pa lang po sa akin channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for you to be updated with my future videos. So para sa araw na ito, let us continue to discuss the world of Practical Research 1 or the Qualitative Research. So for today's video, very special po ito because I will be sharing to you fresh ideas with our discussion for this morning which is all about nine secrets in a successful research defense welcome to my video number 192 So good morning once again, Golden Jabbers. Nabanggit ko na po sa inyo kanina na ang pag-uusapan natin sa umagang ito ay mga sekretong dapat nating i-perform kung kayo po ay magkakaroon ng research defense. So sa lahat ng mga graduating students na nanonood sa video na ito, I'm sure makakatulong ito sa inyo on how you are going to prepare yourself, okay, before the research defense. So isi-share ko po sa inyo ang aking kakayanan because I am also a panelist. I I was once a panelist of a research and of course, nagkaroon na rin ako ng pagkakataon na madipensahan ang aking research sa harap ng mga panelists. So all of these particular experiences of mine, i-share ko po sa inyo para sa video na ito para mabigyang buhay ang ating title sa umagang ito which is the nine secrets okay, to achieve a successful research defense. So number one talaga na dapat niyo maintindihan before you have to undergo the research defense is prepare all the materials needed for the defense before the schedule. Highlight natin doon sa ating statement, prepare all the materials ahead of time. Kasi ako, I am also an 11th hour student or person. Meaning to say, hindi ako motivated pag hindi pa deadline. However, iba yung na-experience ko before when I was... Um, doing my research. Kasi, you know, talagang naghanda ako before the schedule, before the time. That was second semester, so December dumaan, tinapos ko na ang mga chapters of research kasi para pagdating ng January, handa na po ako. And even doon sa preparation talaga ng actual defense, pinaghandaan ko ng mabuti. Highlight natin dito, prepare all the materials ahead of time. Take a rest. This is still in the number one portion, ha? Take a rest and sleep well the night before the schedule of the defense. Highlight natin yung statement na take a rest and sleep well. Kailangan one day before or two days before the defense, hindi ka na nag-aaral sa research mo. Okay? Um, natutulog ka na lang, you are relaxed already, di ba? Binigyan mo ng pagkakataon ang katawan mo to rest, to relax for a moment. Kasi nga, you will be facing a big battle. That is a big battle talk talking about research defense. Mahirap yan. Especially when we are going to face mga doctor na panelist, okay? Or mga expert in research, for example. So, that's difficult to be surmounted. So, kailangan talaga prepared ka kasi tendency, pwedeng magkasakit. Okay, pag hindi tayo natulog ng maayos, pwedeng mablangko ang ating isipan kasi hindi tayo nakatulog ng maayos. That's a tendency to be happened, so be careful of that. Okay, kailangan talaga a day before or two days before the, st uh, the schedule of your defense, talagang nakarelax ka na dapat niyan. Okay, and part also of our number one, kasi may tatlong bagay tayo dito sa step number one pa lang, say a prayer. Okay, as for divine intervention and guidance, very important ito kasi sa lahat ng ating ginagawa talaga sa buhay, it should be the Lord is the center of everything. Okay? Kasi wala namang discrimination in the face of the Lord. So humingi tayo sa Kanya ng guidance, humingi tayo sa Kanya ng wisdom na sana bigyan tayo ng kaalaman as we face this particular um, research defense. So lahat ng gusto mong iiyak sa Kanya, you have to cry. But kailangan, <laughs> um, disclaimer lang po or take note lang po sa ating mga sarili, reminders lang again, Huwag mong gamiting weapon ang prayer kung hindi ka pa naghanda sa sarili mo. Kailangan um, you are also doing your task as a person, as a researcher, okay? Before you have to um, rely to God the rest of everything. Okay, so ganun talaga ang procedure. But the thing is, uh, step number one is to share ko sa inyo, you always have to prepare all the materials before the schedule of your defense. And of course, you have to take 
rest and sleep well before the defense. And of course, pinaka-powerful natin, you have to pray to the Lord before the defense. Yan talaga, okay? So, number one pa lang ha, number one pa lang ito, pero napaka-fruitful na ng ating discussion, talking about the preparation for our research defense. So, yun ang kailangan ninyong maintindihan. Secondly, sa ating list, the defense is like a major examination in several ways. Okay? It is different in many ways, however. Highlight natin sa statement na ito, is like major examination. Okay? Kasi nga, you will be facing big intellectual battle. Okay? The demand of your brain on how you are going to combat the conversation sa defense, kailangan talaga nag-require sa ating katawan ng preparation Okay, we are so much, we should be prepared on this particular battle, that is, okay? However, the chief difference is that the candidate usually knows more about the topic or the research than do the panel of examiners. Okay, compare natin, major examinations, teacher mo ang gumawa, somebody is um, the one or assigned to do the questionnaire. Correct? Iba ang gumawa. So, you are not expecting ano ang lalabas. You don't know what will happen. Okay? Hindi mo alam if you could be able to pass. Kasi nga, iba ang gumawa ng questionnaire. That is for the major examination. However, sa research defense, though nagre-require siya ng malaking ano, preparation sa utak mo in order for you to answer some of the questions. Kaya lang, dito sa research defense, ikaw ang author ng research mo. Ikaw ang gumawa ng research mo in the first place. So, meaning to say, whatever the, qu the question that may come up, okay, in that particular research defense, I know or you know in yourself that you could be able to answer the question. Basically, di ba? Kasi nga, ikaw naman ang gumawa ng research paper mo. That is the reason why I'm always telling to all my students and the rest of the people who can be watch this particular video, do not be afraid to face a research defense. Kasi at the end of the day, ikaw naman ang writer ng research na ito. Mas matakot kang humarap ng board exam, mas matakot kang humarap sa mga major examinations mo because somebody is making that particular questionnaire for you. Okay? So, something like that that you have to observe. So, ilagay mo sa utak mo, do not be afraid. That is the message of our um, secret number two. Now, let's proceed sa ating secret number three in surmounting a research defense. Accordingly, some questions will be sincere questions. The defense panel asks because he or she does not know and expects that the researcher will be able to rectify this. Highlight natin ha, um, in a conversation, may mga panelists talaga na seryoso sila sa kanilang mga tanungan. Meron ding at is magtanong na parang hindi ka nahihirapan, okay? But there's um, personality also of a panelist na parang matatakot ka na the way um, she delivered the question. So you have to expect on that na mangyayari talaga yan sa defense. But accordingly, highlight natin dito, defense panel ask because he or she, okay, does not know and expect, okay, that the researcher will be able to rectify this. Ikaw ang dapat na mag-rectify sa kanila. Average, reasonable person lamang po ang mga panelists. Wala silang 100% idea on the kind of topic na ipresent mo sa kanila, basically. So, you should stand and be proud na, hello, ako ang researcher nito, whatever the question that you will be raising, I'm sure that I could be able to answer. Dapat ganun ang ating understanding. Kasi nga, kaya nga ako as a panelist, I am asking a question to you because you are the researcher. Correct? So that's how. And that should be treated dapat sa ating conversation in a kind of research defense. Students often expect questions to be difficult and attacking. Ganito rin ang ating mindset, no? Pag merong research defense, yun na agad. And answer them accordingly and politely. Yun kasi ang nasa build-up ng ating utak. Na pag nagkaroon ng um, research defense, ang talagang itatanong nila is yung napakamahirap na bagay sa aking research. Yung talagang maa-attack ako na I cannot answer the question, something like that. Hindi po ganun ang point ng research defense actually. 
actually. And you have to correct your mind in thinking about that. Okay? Kasi nga ako nagtanong as a panelist because I am not sure or I'm doubtful with myself kung tama ba ang iniisip ko or interpretation ko with a kind of idea that you already written in your paper. So that is the reason why it's time for you to defend your paper. That is why merong defense talaga sa isang research. Okay? Para madepensahan mo ang mga possible na questions ng mga panelists. Okay? So you don't need to be afraid about that kind of conversation. That's normal. So at this juncture, let's proceed to secret number four in surmounting a research defense. Highlight natin, pinakaunang line talaga sa number four, take your time. Ito yung pinaka-importante, take your time. A few seconds pause to reflect and analyze question before answering is eminently reasonable to the panel. But to the defender, it seems like minutes of minute failure. Correct. Can you relate on this one? Diba? Kasi ang thinking talaga natin, once the question is being given, kailangan sumagot tayo agad-agad. But accordingly, no. You have the right to pause for a while and then think of an answer, think of a better answer. But, but wag namang matagal masyado. Baka naman pahihintayin mo ang ating panelist ng 30 minutes or 1 hour. That's a no-no already. Mga ano lang, minute. Okay? Or seconds lang, thinking time, and then right after, you deliver your answer. Kasi ganun siya. Kasi ang tendency naman ng isang researcher, pag nagkaroon ng research defense, ah, habang tumatakbo yung oras na hindi natin nabibigyan ng immediate answer yung question, it's a failure on ourselves agad. Parang feeling natin na, I'm a failure with my defense. I'm not successful with my defense. Hindi ko napatunayan sa kanila na I am the researcher of this particular topic. So something like that that we always have to think immediately. Okay, there is a feeling of pressure within us. Pero hindi dapat yan ang ating isipin. It should be natural conversation. Okay, um, wag mong da- bilisan ang pagsasalita mo, something like that. You control yourself, okay? It's a natural conversation or delivery. Mas maganda yan, okay? You have to observe that one once um, the defense is ongoing. A lesson mo konti yung pressure sa sarili mo kasi pag nagkaroon tayo ng pressure within ourselves, nahihirapan tayo mag-isip. Nawawala yung mga supposedly mga idea na share natin to our panelists because nagkakaroon tayo ng pressure within ourselves. Hindi natin pwedeng tanggalin yan 100%. So you just have to listen a little para hindi maapektuhan ang ating delivery with a kind of question that is being given to us by our panelists. So ganun lang dapat, okay? Erase, erase the idea na pag natagalan ka ng pag-deliver ng sagot mo, it's already a failure on your part. It's not a failure on your part, actually. Okay? You just have to take it in, in a way na natural ang conversation or delivery ninyo with a panelist and with you as a researcher. Now, let's proceed to the secret number five in surmounting a research defense. Accordingly, for same reasons, let them take their time. Let them finish the question before giving your answer. Highlight ko ito sa inyo ha, kasi may mga estudyante na observe ako, hindi pa tapos ang tanungan, nag-explain pa ako, nagbigay pa ako ng background with my question, sumagot na siya. Okay? Hindi dapat ganun ang response mo with your panelist. You should have to wait for the panelist to finish questioning or um, raising the question before you have to give your answer. I know that sometimes meron tayong immediate na sagot, especially when the question is relatable to us. Meaning to say, nabasa ko, I'm knowledgeable enough with this kind of topic. So, eager kang sumagot ngayon. But, in the policy of research defense, you should have to wait for the panelists to finish asking the question before you have to deliver your answer. So, at this juncture, punta naman tayo sa secret number six in surmounting a research defense. The phrase that says, that's a good question, is exceedingly useful. Okay? Bakit pala? Ano pala ang impact nito to our panelists? Because it flatters the panel of examiners and it gives you the time to think. 
okay it implies that you have understood the question and assessed it already and that you have probably thought it before so highlight natin itong mga idea na it flatters the panel of examiners because um ladies and gentlemen I've been a panel for a lot of research also. So, pag talagang sinasabi sa akin yan ng isang researcher, parang I feel also na great within myself na, uy, ganda pala ng tanong ko kasi nakarelate siya and we connected with each other. So, gan parang ganun ang impact. So, nakakatulong siya. When you are going to say to your panelists na, thank you for that wonderful question, that's a good question, sir, because you know what? I can also say that Upon dealing with this particular research, for example, so parang and the conversation is normal because parang ang dating sa akin if ako ang nagtatanong sa yun, nakakonek ka sa tinanong ko, which I like the most also, kasi nag nagakaintindihan tayong dalawa. Okay, so something like that. Kaya nga nakasabi dito, it implies that you have understood the question. Although sometimes we tend to pretend, okay, kasi may mga tanong talaga na ang unang portion. Alam mo, but on the second part of the question, hindi mo na alam. But you just need to pretend na alam mo because na simulan mo na, de ba? So something like that. So meaning to say, the message of the secret number six is telling to you that you have to answer the question with confidence but not arrogant in a way. Okay. So meaning to say, ipakita mo sa kanila na alam mo. Though sometimes, as I said, magpretend na lang tayo, but hindi in an arrogant way. Na parang gusto mo ipakita sa kanila na you are brilliant enough, you are powerful. Hello, I am running of summa cum laude in this university, and I can answer your question whatever it is. So that's a simple question, sir. I think that's not to be considered in this particular conversation anymore. So, wow. So kung ako ang panelist, ibabagsak talaga kita. Just kidding aside on that portion, but... I want you to be reminded na um, with confidence but not arrogant in a way. Dagdagan natin sa secret number six. Let's continue reading. If necessary, it can be followed by a bit more staling. Okay, so sabihin mo itong linya na ito because it will boost also to on the part of the panelists na magaling ka talaga and you know your research. Say this line to them. Now the answer to that is not obvious and straightforward. Dagdagan mo na lang. So, ganun. So, parang ito yung starting line mo to show them na meron kang alam which has the advantages on your part as a researcher. Kasi kahit na hindi natin matumbok yung pinaka-angle na hinahanap ng isang panelist na nagtatanong, at least you started your question. I mean, at least you started your answer. Hindi ka naglag doon sa portion na yon. You started talking with your answer. Though um paligwiligoy, paligwiligoy, curve ng curve kahit saan lang pumunta yung sagot mo, basta meron ka lang masabi. Okay? So meaning to say sa number 6, sinasabi sa inyo, find ways to get away from the conversation. Hanapan mo ng paraan na makalabas ka doon sa conversation na yon. Kasi um it's a no no in a research defense na meron tayong tanong na hindi nasagutan. May mga pagkakataon na mahirap ang tanong. So, ito yung gawin mo sa step number 6 natin or sa secret number 6 natin. Okay? Gawan mo ng paraan na makaalis ka from that particular conversation. So, whatever comes in mind first upon raising the question from the panelist, you deliver it. Okay? Huwag mo nang i-assess sa sarili mo if that is correct or wrong. Um, definitely, kung meron kang idea, you just have to say it. Okay? Yun ang message ng ating secret number six in a conversation. So, at this juncture, proceed tayo sa ating secret number seven. Okay? So, what usually happens is that the examiners have read work perhaps once or twice and look closely at some parts that interested them most. This is the reality. Because prior to the schedule of your defense, ibinigay mo na ang research mo sa mga panelists mo, correct? So, most of the time, especially sa college, binabasa nila ito talaga. Line to line, word for word, talagang binabasa nila. And of course, naglalagay sila ng mga highlights doon sa portion na nagkaka-interest silang itanong during the defense or the actual defense. So, something like that. So, you have to expect this one na binasa ito ng ating mga panelists. These are usually the good bits. But maganda ito para sa iyo. 
they are not out to fail you. It is a lot more complicated to fail you than to pass you in a way. In general, they feel good about the idea of a new, fresh researcher coming into their area. So basically, let's um, correct our wrong notion in defense. Kasi usually, natatakot tayo sa defense, okay? Or depensahan ang ating research because we always have to imagine na gigisahin tayo ng ating mga panelists. Hindi po. Okay? Kaya nga sinasabing positive ito, advantage ito sa sa'yo kung binasa ng panelist mo ang research mo before the defense. Mas matakot ka, mas ma-stress ka kung ang iyong research ay hindi binasa ng iyong panelist. Yan ang katotohanan. Because actually, umupo ang mga panelist sa harapan mo not to the idea of failing you in the round. Kasi mas mahihirapan sila. ba? Diba? Napaulitin ka na naman. Kasi syempre, ikaw pa rin ang magiging estudyante nila. For example, magiging part ka pa rin ng defense for the another batch. For example. So something like that. So the goal of the professors, the goal of the teachers, wherever it is the level of research, talagang ipapasaka. Sometimes, um, sa mga research natin, hindi nagkakatugma ang ating title at saka yung content ng ating research. Nangyayari ito sa reality. So that is the reason why ang ginagawa ng mga panelists dyan is to align okay, the content of your research to the title you are being presenting. So, something like that. So, wala talagang ang um, konsepto na ang goal ng mga panelists is ibagsak ka talaga or paulitin ka sa iyong research. Hindi po, kasi mahirap po ang research, by the way. So, kung ano ang kaya nilang gawin na maitulong sa iyo in order for you to finish gathering the data, for example, itutuwid nila yan during the final defense. So, that is the reason why do not be afraid to face the panelist. Okay, rather, magpasalamat ka. I just want to share a little um, story about this particular part. Kasi ako, nung nag-college ako, talagang pinili ko yung mga panelist ko na matatalino. Okay? Kahit sabi nila na, uy, napaka-intricate ni ma'am, napaka-meticulous ni ma'am, ganito, ganyan. Pero hindi ako naniwala sa kanila because sa aking thinking, once matalino ang aking panelist, once expert ang aking mga panelist, mas marami silang maibibigay sa akin. So, ang thesis advisor ko matalino, ang tatlong panelist ko matalino at the time. So, in short, I finished my research in college for one semester. So, yun ang katotohanan. Because maraming tutulong sa akin. Again, ang mga panelists natin, ang ating thesis advisor, ang ating research teacher, umupo sila sa harapan mo during the final defense, hindi upang ibagsak ka, i-down ka, but to help you to surmount this particular research journey, of course, na pagdadaanan po ito talaga ng lahat ng mga estudyante sa kolehiyo. Whether ano man ang tawag ninyo sa research na yan, but you cannot graduate in college if hindi mo napagdaanan ang research na ito. At hindi ka dumaan sa isang research defense. So you have to think about that. Okay? Baguhin change the wrong notion thinking about that once you are undergoing research defense, babagsak ka. No. They are there to help you to surmount that particular journey. Okay, let's proceed now to our secret number eight in surmounting a research defense. Accordingly, you should be ready for a free kick in a round. It's relatively common that a panel will ask one or more questions that whatever the actual wording may be or essentially an invitation for you to tell them what is important, new and good in your thesis, basically. So you just have to imagine na talagang pakbakan talaga ang haharapin mo. Mangyayari talaga yan normally kasi iba't iba po ang um, konsepto ng ating mga panelists. For example, sometimes nga nag-argue pa ang ating mga panelists on what kind of um, concept ang dapat may apply sa research mo. May mga ganyang deliberation talaga in the actual defense. So something like that that you have to expect para handa ka na, okay? Panel will ask one or more questions. Highlight natin ito. Kasi may mga panelists talaga na hindi hindi sila satisfied on the kind of answer na ibinigay mo on the first time they attempted to, ans to ask this particular topic of yours, okay, or some portion of your research. So, ang gawin mo, try to prove more, try to deliver more, give more details, more examples, situations, and everything else 
para ma-strengthen yung idea mo, yung contention na binitawan mo on the first part. Ganun siya. But actually, sa defense talaga, eto ang setup niya ha, talking about the college defense. Nandiyan naman ang thesis advisor mo. May mga may tatlong panelist Um, pero at the same time, meron ka rin thesis advisor. Na, si thesis advisor kasi, kakampi mo siya. The moment na hindi mo na kayang sagutan, okay, yung mga tanong, higher na masyado, dyan na sasagot ang thesis advisor. Kasi of course, si thesis advisor kasi at saka ikaw, kayo po yung nagkakaroon ng conversation in order to craft properly the paper. So basically, pag may mga puntong hindi mo na kaya, sasagutan talaga yan actually ng isang thesis advisor. But you have to expect again, okay, na may mga panelists talaga na napaka meticulous in asking you the question para hindi sila satisfied. And aside from that, you also have to expect na the kind of delivery, okay? May mga um, panelists din kasi na parang ang hirap talaga nilang tang ang hirap talaga nilang am um, intindihin sometimes and especially the way they deliver the question, medyo nakakatakot ang dating. So, you have to expect also this kind of setup, okay, during the final defense or the actual defense. Kasi ako sometimes, ganun din ang, ang delivery ko minsan to the students. Okay, especially pag nakikita ko yung research na medyo hindi pinaghandaan, so talagang strict ako masyado no, in delivery. Parang galit ako ang dating sa akin. Kasi I don't like na makabasa ng isang output na hindi pinaghandaan. Research ito eh. Ikaw ang researcher. You should know better than me. Something like that. Okay, yan talaga ang reality. Okay, So, highlight, naka, um, naka-state dito sa ating secret number 8, sumagot ka. ba diba sabi dito, whatever the actual wording may be, okay, ilabas mo yan, isagot mo yan. Kahit anong mangyari, isagot mo yan. Whatever the delivery, the kind of construction of your sentence and everything else, isagot mo yan. Okay, kasi that will add na ma-prove mo talaga na essential itong research mo. Na fresh ang idea, ang angle ng research mo. Na hindi ito copy from anywhere else, especially kung topic natin is common, talagang less ang appreciation. That is the reason why kailangan i-level up mo yung sagot mo, yung delivery mo, na mas lalo siyang ma-appreciate ng yung mga panelists. So, let's go now sa ating final secret, no? Nandito na tayo sa nine secret na talaga, okay? Pang nine na ito na secret in surmounting a research defense. Simple lang po ang sinasabi ng ating nine secret, pang nine na secret. Um, nakasaad dito, lastly, good luck and congratulate yourself. Ano ibig sabihin ito? Meaning to say, believe in yourself, trust in yourself, be proud in yourself. Ganun ang ibig sabihin nito. Love yourself for this achievement. Kasi nakasa, nakasaan ito, congratulate yourself na natapos mo ito. Doing a research is not easy and facing the panelists much more difficult journey of one student. Okay, of a kind of student na um, college student, for example, or high school student, mahira po ang journey na ito. Pero napagtagumpayan mo, natapos mo, and andito ka ngayon, you are so much proud of yourself to face the panelists. So, I would like to say congratulations for that bravery na ipinakita mo na kahit gaano man kahirap, gumawa ng isang research paper na pagtagumpayan mo. You should be proud. Especially kung ikaw lang mismo ang gumawa ng research mo. Kasi may mga courses tayo sa kolehiyo na grupo ang research. Pero sa amin, sa aking course sa college, individual talaga kami. So, ako lang po ang gumawa mismo ng aking research paper. So, that is the reason why, di ba sa aking video, nakita ninyo na, I'm always showing to the world my heart bound. Kasi nga, I'm so much proud of myself And I'm so thankful na napagtagumpayan ko yon. I was then 22 or 21 years old nung nasurmount ko ang research na yon. And I'm now 29 pero patuloy ko pa rin siyang chinicherish. And I'm so proud of myself of having that kind of research. Kasi alam ko na pinaghirapan ko siya. At alam ko na ibinuhos ko ang aking lahat na makakaya in order for me to finish the research. So the moment nandiyan ka na sa araw ng research defense... Wala ka nang iisipin kundi yung pagiging proud mo na lang sa sarili mo. You congratulate yourself in advance for taking successfully the journey 
of finishing a research paper and now you are so much proud to face the panelist. So for all those um, graduating students na tapos nyo na pong matagumpayan ang inyong research defense, I would like to say congratulations to all of you for taking successfully this particular journey. So sana po ang video na ito ay makatulong para sa inyo in order for you to surmount another research endeavor in your life. Sa mga sudyante po na nagsisimula pa lang where you are about to take pa lang research paper, so I hope na ang video na ito as you go along with your research defense, makakatulong ito sa inyo in order for you to surmount that research defense successfully. So that will be all for this morning. I hope you learned something from this video and I hope that you will share this video to your friends and to anybody else that you think na ngailangan ng video na ito. Asahan nyo po that Sir Job TV will continue to discuss more meaningful discussions especially in the world of social sciences. Thank you once again for watching. Bye-bye!